My name is Gord Bouchard. I took the uh, level one uh, welding uh, course here, and I graduated of uh, OSTTC. Uh, the experience was interesting. It was during COVID, so we even shut down for a month at one point. So it was uh, interesting navigating a program during that. The course that I took is all in class. You're just welding, 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 doing tickets. It's kind of to get you out there as quick as possible, right? It's like an introduction course. Uh, so having that break worked out really well because then I was able to actually do some online studies um, and was signed up to do the theory part of it, which normally wouldn't be part of the program, but it was something to keep me busy in between, to keep my brain on the same sort of idea, learning about different techniques of well, uh, welding that I wouldn't be able to do in the course, so it actually worked out to my benefit. I like the smaller class, I like the uh, individual booth, I like the one-on-one -on -one instructing. Um, it was just, it was a, it's a good comfortable experience. Uh, things were explained very well. Uh, like I said, the one-on-one -on -one was great. You could ask one of the instructors, they would come right in your welding booth and show you exactly what to do, explain what you were doing wrong, how to fix that and whatnot. And it was, uh, you don't get that much attention that often in schooling. Uh, I noticed as I was growing up through elementary and high school and whatnot. So to have that was fantastic very different. <laughs> uh, I owned my own tattoo business for 15 years. Uh, I'd done piercing overall for almost 22 years. Um, and it was it was the pandemic. I was out of work for, I, I would say out of the first two years that everything was going on, I was out of work for 18 months. So from going from having your own business that I'm a father of two, so trying to take care of your family and anything. I wanted to look for something for a little more job security. Also, being self-employed, there's no benefits, there's nothing to help take care of my kids. So, you know, you kind of have to switch your focus. I was 25 when I started my own business. I was 40 when COVID hit. So, you know, I needed to take care of my family and it just, as much as I hate to say that the pandemic shut down my business, it actually led me to where I am now, so I'm not, upset about it. It just didn't happen exactly how I would have wanted. <laughs> oh, heck no. <laughs> I hadn't done anything since high school. So what was that, 20 years? Um, that was the last time I'd welded. That was the last time I'd done anything uh, technical related. I'd taken tech classes uh, all the way through high school from, well, grade seven and eight we started. My dad was a millwright. My grandpa was a millwright. Our whole family were in trades. And uh, they kind of always wanted to push me and my brother towards something else. But then, you know, you look at it as you get older and you have a family, you go, what's wrong with benefits? What's wrong with steady pay? And you start looking and thinking this is actually a career that, not that I regret getting into now, but I think that people shouldn't be pushed away from it for those factors. It's actually a pretty fantastic field to be in. Because there's such a demand for trades right now, it's, I don't want to say all the power's in our hands, but we kind of have a little more negotiating power when you need so many people and you can't fill all the roles. So you're getting places that are hiring you with like three weeks vacation, like starting off. Um, so that's pretty impressive. Or, you know, depending on when you're hired and the time of year, if it's halfway through, you might get two weeks right away. Um, some places are waiting, uh, waiving the uh, probation period for benefits. So I've been working at Walters Group for uh, coming up in a few months, will be two years now actually. Um, I started as a painter there because uh, they wanted me to get in and see everything that they produce first. So when you're painting, you get to see uh, every piece of assembly. You get to see the giant, the small pieces, everything. Um, I went from there and then they got me into welding. And uh, this November I got moved to doing fitting now. So I've done painting, welding and fitting at the company now. Um, so they're, you know, there's tons of room for growth and opportunities. Uh, every day is different. I don't like repetitive. I don't, I couldn't sit in a cubicle doing, you know, paperwork. Some people can and that's how their brain works, but I like going in every day knowing that it's going to be something different. It's going to be a challenge. If it was repetitive, like I said, that couldn't do it.